Hey, welcome back and thanks for visiting uh, Jack Curran Photography and my YouTube channel. Uh, truly appreciate it. Today I'm going to take you through one of my images out on uh, uh, Mesquite Dunes down in Death Valley National Park. Uh, this is a shot that I took uh, just at sunrise and you know I really enjoy getting out into uh, the dunes especially when it's still dark and hiking and there's no one else out there. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. A little eerie a little mysterious uh, when you go up and up and down over these things. So just real quickly, when I'm out on the dunes or when I'm really anywhere, what I am looking for is uh, the flow of light and, and looking for areas where I can try and find um, the light creating luminosity, uh, shape, range of light, the flow across the dunes. I, I'm looking for textures. I'm looking for, um, you know, are there transitions? Are there things in the front to the back, you know, that are dropping down? What is the sky doing? Um, and I'm really walking around looking for compositions. Uh, in this particular instance, though, I was walking through the dunes searching for compositions, uh, and and I just happened to look um, probably three or four sets of dunes over. And I saw this one little dune, which is right down here in this lower right-hand corner, or kind of middle right-hand side, that was lighter than everything else. You can't really tell from um, this image. If I were to darken it a little bit, you can start to see that this dune right down here in this mid, mid area on the right side is lighter than the rest of the dunes. It falls into approximately the same value as the sky here, but really, you know, when I was there, uh, the light was just coming up, and you can see how low it is here on this little, you know, shadow on the dune. And but the sky appeared much, much darker, and this dune was much more illuminated. So, um, you know, almost it popped out from way far away. So I got out a little bit longer lens, and I and I semi telephoto, and I shot all the way across several of the dunes I was on, taking an abstract of this piece. And, and while it doesn't look very interesting here, I'm going to take you through the process of how I really started to bring out the range of light and, and the luminosity in this. Um, so I'm going to just kind of take this back to zero real quick, and I'll share you kind of the process. So first thing I'm going to do is, is the dune is, is fairly crooked. Now, it actually could have been straight, but it looks crooked when we're in the frame. So I'm going to go ahead and try and straighten it up a little bit more and keep this in this kind of give it a little bit more breathing room there I think I can go a little bit more and get a little bit more out of this side over here it, it's going to be a little crooked but it'll still be fine but now I have this nice flow of the dune across the top that kind of you know I'm going to use that there's a little bit of light up here in the sky I'm going to try and hold some of that I'm going to take this dune really dark because I want it to contrast what's going on in here there's a little bit of light down here in this area. There's some detail down here in the dune, but I, for the most part, I'm going to take that really, really dark. I just want to isolate this one little small dune that's in this little valley. So real quickly, let me, let me share with you a couple of quick observations. So I could go in and I could look at the sliders real quick to see what it, they're going to do. I was wondering if that might make the sky darker or lighter. It, it does make it darker, but because I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to make it really dark and probably only bring out a slight glow above the dunes, I don't think the slider is very important here. Now, of course, I can... Now, I don't know if you can see there, but when I use the yellow, it adds a ton of noise into the frame. And then also, if you use the blue slider too much, you've got to be very, very careful for noise. Um, you know, the red would probably move this in the shadows. Orange is moving it quite a bit more and adding contrast. Again, I don't think I'm going to do much with the slider, so I'm just going to go ahead. And one of the things I want to do real quickly is I want to share with you, when you take the whole frame down in the exposure, you can just barely see this highlight in here. You can see the sky getting darker and you see the nice outline up here. So I'm going to take it a little brighter. And what I can see is how light this dune can get right in here and what I can do. And this nice dark line that kind of holds and separates gives me depth so that if I take this dark, then light, then dark, then a little bit lighter up here, then dark in the top. Now I've got transitions in the frame. 
So the eye is going to want to go through here and kind of stay within the context of the frame. So I'm just going to go back here. Another thing I want to take a quick look at is because I'm going to take this very dark and isolate this. I want to see what happens when I start just taking the black down. Now you can see this dune down here starting to glow all by itself against this shadow back here on this back dune. And then I have lots of density and exposure still here. So if I don't work the black, now I know that I can do this. If I take them all down together, you can see all these dunes kind of merge together back here. And I know what I can do down here in this one, in, this, in, the, in the dune that I'm really kind of looking to create the luminosity of. You know, clarity, we can look at clarity that just adds a lot of contrast here. I can go back and I can play with some of these sliders later. But let me just take you in, and you'll notice in the histogram here, that everything's kind of squished in the mid-tone with the exception of the sky over here to the right. So if I move that, you can see the sky really getting blown out. So I will just leave that alone as well. And you move everything this way, it all gets squished, kind of like what I showed you a little bit ago. So I'm just going to go back. I'm going to zero that. Zero my highlight again. So now we're starting from scratch. And I'm going to go ahead and take a very kind of mid-size radial filter here. I'm going to reset it. I'm going to put it down here just on the area I'm interested in. I'm going to invert it. And th again, this is a pretty simple conversion. There's not a lot of dodging and burning and everything else. So I just want to share you something that you can do visually that can be pretty stunning when you just use a couple of tools. And I want to probably take my my feather up a little bit. I might want to move this just a little to the right. I might want to extend it a little bit more. A little softness. I'm picking up a little light down in here. I'm okay with that. I might go back and either brush more in or less. Just kind of want to see what's going on there. Now, everything else is pretty dark. The sky is probably not as dark as I want, so I'll go ahead and show you what I'm going to do there. I'm going to and I'm going to come back and I'm going to Real quickly, let me just work on this, this dune for a minute. So I'm going to open up another one. I'm going to kind of go into that area. Now I'm going to pump the clarity quite a bit. I'm going to get some glow in there. The shadows were already up. I don't want those up. Let me just reset that real quick. Go in here. I'm going to look at it just a little dehaze. And I'm going to go ahead and pump the white. And the highlight. And then a little exposure. Now it's kind of starting to glow in there. And I'm going to go in. I'm going to do one more small one right in here. I'm going to reset that. I'm going to pull the highlight down just a little. So I'm going to leave my clarity up. Pull that down just a little so it doesn't look too unnatural that it's kind of glowing out of the center. But I like the way it's getting hit here. I'm going to real quick take a little brush, reset this real quick, take the exposure down, and I just want to darken that just a little along that edge. So you can see that, and I know it's hard to see, but if I, if I move it dramatically, you can see that it's kind of pulling that edge down and isolating that. I could probably do it a little quicker with black. Okay. Let me do this now. I'm going to grab a gradation, probably right in there because I'm going to go ahead and move it up or down. I'm going to take the exposure down, then I'm going to slide that down. Give me a fairly dark sky across there, a little bit of glow across the top. I'm going to go back with an adjustment brush. I'm going to reset that. My exposure up, my highlights up, my white up, but my exposure is just a little, about 23 here. Let me just check my size. My flow is about 50%. My density about there. I just want to touch it real quick and see if I can't just get a little bit more glow right out of that valley there. So there's a little sunrise kind of popping up right over here. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to keep a brush here. I'm going to I'm going to do a new one. Double set that. 
I took my exposure down, my shadows down, and I just want to darken this up a little bit down in here. Now, I'm going to quickly go back. I'm going to just do clarity overall. It's going to give me a little bit more contrast. I'm going to sharpen this up just a little bit more. I want to see what that looks like. I'm going to add a little bit more contrast. I want to make sure my black is black. So let me just check these real quick and make sure I'm not totally blown out. So I've, I've gone and turned on these, um, you know, highlights and shadow indicators here. You can see a little dot of blue right there. But if I go and I add a lot of black, you'll see what happens. So, oh, I'm sorry. I'm working on um, just the brush that I had on there. So, but you can see how the black is. Now that can give me some really interesting black blacks in the shadows. And then if I want, I can go back and I can take a brush. I can reset this. My exposure up. I take my shadows up a little bit. Change my brush size. And I can just paint some of that back out so I have a little detail in there. You know, and I don't get too whacked out in the shadows. But I can paint some of the detail back in real quick with the adjustment brush. So, all right, so now if you, if you, I'm going to go ahead and just real quickly go back and take a look at one of these others. And you can see where we've kind of gone with this. When you look at it, you, you've gone from here to this really interesting, and, and maybe it's a little too much, it's a little too soft in here. Um, so I might go back and Take a look at it and maybe make it a little harder, a little bit more glow over here. Um, it's a little too soft, so I'm going to go back and just do one more right in here. And I'm going to reset that, and then I'm going to, I just want to crank down that dehaze, contrast a little, and do the highlights. And then maybe even take it out, out here, go back, get a little brush, open up the shadows a little, and just give it a little glow in here so it kind of blends in a little bit. Oop. There we go. So that's not too bad. Again, that's a really, really quick. Um, and I'm going to lighten this just a little bit more up here. So I have a little bit going on in the sky. And so now I have this nice transition between dark to light to mid-tone to dark to light to dark. And that helps me flow through the scene. I've got these nice shapes. I've got this thing off center, so it's kind of holding me in the frame over there, but it's dark on the edge so that the eye stays in the frame. And everything's very isolated. So let me just pull those all back up. I'm going to go here. So this is the other one. It's, it's much contrastier. Um, I can go back and get there, but I'm actually kind of liking where I am with this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and this. And there you have it. So that's the final version. Again, this was a long shot across the valley. I'd seen that dune kind of highlighted and looking like that, just isolated there. And I knew right away that I could visualize taking everything else dark. Now, part of that was because I was walking at very early sunrise, and I knew that. The, the raw file is very open, and, and they generally are flat and open when you get them. They're not as contrasty as what the eye sees. So you know, you have to think about what you can do and where you can take it and just, you know, really try and visualize how you're going to end up uh, when you're done. All right.